What's going on guys? This is Sharif and uh, this is just the third video to my plumbing or my second video, whichever one. But anyway, nothing is glued in other than the, uh, the actual the Reef Synergy overflow. But let's get up under. As you can see, you got those coming in, dropping right in there. I started to add a bulkhead, which I do. I bought them. But um, I just felt like that would be too much. I mean, I'm looking at these guys, some song online and it looks all nice with the bulkhead but i don't care about that so with that being said i'm not gonna add the bulkhead just let those pipes run straight down in there gonna do their thing now i got this from uh fisher hex and from fisher hex he had this little t in the middle don't worry about that that would be retaped this is just all like i said dry fit and plumbing and of course that would be longer sorry sorry about that uh i am outside and um People feel like I guess this area is the area that you make your car the loudest or your motorcycle or whatever but anyway like I said uh, I got that ran up there I wanted to add a, a check valve but the reason why I went with the 75 is just so when if anything was to overdrain back into the sump I was gonna have enough room I actually was going with a 220 gallon at first but then I wasn't sure how it was gonna work out so anyway um, on these returns, as you can see, it's a little slanted, but uh, that's just so it can reach that. I could probably bring it over a little more. I'm not going to worry about it. Got a little tape just to tape it up there, just to keep it posted up. And as you can see, that's what I wanted to do, run that under there. So, return, got the union, drops down to uh, ball, uh, gate, uh, ball joint. And um, I just, I did it to, I got the easiest ones that I can find. As you can see, you've never seen nothing turn that easy. I went through all of them and just grabbed the one that turned the best to me. And I know, of course, they can uh, change, but uh, it'll be fine. And as you can see, it's my gate valve. So reaching behind the tank, I'll be able to adjust it. And this one, for that matter, let me turn it a little bit. But anyway, like I said, I have to still dry them and press them all in together. But as you can see, I mean, those are, you don't even see the thing shaking. These are the best ball joints I ever seen and although they turn it like this now uh, hopefully I don't have to adjust them much for the simple fact that you don't normally have to adjust your your return maybe turn your pump up or some crap like that but anyway like I said this is true reef and this is the plumbing I also got one here this would be for the refugium so my um your boy I think that's the 8000 th sending them with the fit now I'm gonna see if you can see that but anyway, this here, they sent them with it and that three-fourth uh, pipeline, and they also sent it with the uh, the uh, salt tubing line. They do that all now. I guess a couple people complained about it, but so they got that done. But anyway, um, I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm considering doing this over here as well. But you see, is that how this one holds that up? I don't want to have too much weight leaning over there, so I'm thinking about just keeping it like this and adding a. A uh, check valve for or or a uh, gate valve for soft plumbing because this is just going to run my reactors my reactors are carbon and gfo and um that will, of course is the feed line this is too short right now i was just testing something out but this will go all the way to the end of the tank and down here and then it goes into the refugium so as of now like i said getting this plumbing done this is true reef you guys stay tuned When a guy has a lot of couplings, made a lot of cut, wrong cuts. <laughs> but it got it done though. Which is the best part. See this return. Uh, I haven't heated that up yet. Why? Because I want to add a union. Uh, a union down here. And a chick valve up here. To stop the water from coming back. But anyway, it's true reef and the plumbing on my 200 gallon aquarium. Kind of like how that's turned backwards like that, so I might leave it, but I don't know. It doesn't go like that actually. But anyway, alright. 
Here's my, my kick valve and my union that I'm going to be adding. 